Well, this is it. I'm getting there. So far, I just made the base out of wood. And depending on how well it works, I'll uh, leave it for a while, if it works good enough, and make one out of metal. Or aluminum or something. But, uh, I just screwed the motor on down there. I'm going to do something maybe with a, I don't know, a couple pull tights or something just to hold it tight up to there. Just so it doesn't move on me. But anyway, I took the sprocket off the other machine, or the other uh, clutch assembly, and I just hammered it on there, and it just kind of ripped the teeth back from the shaft, but uh, so good so far. It seems pretty straight, not too bad anyway. And it's close to center for balance. It's pretty good. That's pretty good. I can live with that. So now I need to throw some batteries in it. Connect up some electrical. I don't have a control box. But I'll figure something out. It's a 12 volt motor. So I'm going to probably run it off about 18. I think the last time I ran it off 12 volts with this other one, two deep cell, six volts. And there's another one in there, this is a Rupp mini bike. I welded a plate onto it. And uh, it was lopsided and too heavy with the two deep cell batteries. So if I can do it, I'm planning on trying to get, I guess 12 or 24 volts to push it would be ideal. Because 12 moved it with the other one. This one should be better though. Okay, thanks for watching.